again this is the kitchen fairy with another recipe blog for indorecipe.com and for today's re today's recipe it is soft pretzels check out the full video now see you soon again bye this is six cups of strong baker's flour with three tablespoons of sugar one and a half tablespoon of salt just mix it and make a well in center and then we're gonna put in our activated yeast this is two and a half cup of water with uh, eight teaspoon of active dry yeast with um, one tablespoon of sugar and let it rest for 10 minutes until bubbly as we can see it started activating itself now once the yeast activated pour into the dry ingredients and add in three tablespoon of vegetable oil mix with your spatula or you can knead with your hand right away or you can even use electric mixer it's up to you until it forms a nice dough once it becomes a dough cover it with cling wrap and let it rest until doubled in size that is normally one hour at least after one hour or resting until doubled in size, the dough will be ready to be shaped into pretzels. If you have big surface, you can divide this dough into two portions and roll it into a very long rope and then cut the ropes and then shape each rope into pretzels. If you don't have a big uh, surface you're gonna have to divide this into a couple um, portions or you can pinch them and then roll them into a long rope and again shape it into pretzel this is a nice dough because my space is limited so I'm gonna divide the dough and then roll each portion into ropes before I shape them into pretzel and stretch them into a long rope at that length and then you just want to cross it then you want to twirl it then you're gonna bring it to the center like so and put it to sides so while you're working on the rest of the dough so I managed to make 16 pieces now we're gonna uh, dip this quickly in baking soda solution what I have here is four tablespoons four heaping tablespoons of baking soda and we're gonna add about three cups hot boiling water Now grab a pretzel, dip it quickly, and with a slotted spoon, take it up and place it on a clean towel before you place it on a greased pan. And repeat steps for the rest of the pretzel. Now sprinkle with coarse salt, and it's ready to be baked. Now you don't have to place it on a clean cloth, but my oldest is kind of fussy when it comes to bottom. And with the baking soda, the bottom will be darker and he doesn't like that. That sells for 10 minutes on preheated 450 Fahrenheit depending on your oven. Take out from the oven, cool on rack and enjoy nice pretzels oh thank you <laughs>